So if you're a newbie and you're trying to figure out how you can utilize solo ads to actually make money and build your affiliate marketing business, you're in the right space. Solo ads can be completely powerful and you can build your list super quick and you can make your money with it, but you have to know how to actually do it. So in this video today, I'm actually gonna be breaking down how you actually start building your affiliate marketing business using solo ads and how you can actually maximize that and make money with solo ads. We're starting right now. All right, guys, so we're going to go ahead and jump right into this video. And what we're going to be talking about is how to make money with solo ads, right? So we're going to be talking about that. And I'm going to be walking you guys through a couple of the components of what you'll need and what you have to be aware of when you're trying to make money with solo ads, as well as I'm going to walk you guys through a live example of, you know, how I was able to actually start utilizing solo ads to build my business. So when we're talking solo ads, we're really talking about email marketing. And I know that you guys have heard over and over again that the money's in the list and the money's in the list. All the gurus are telling you that, right? And it's really true. So solo ads is a way, a cost effective way that you can actually build your list really quickly as well as earn money, but you gotta know a couple things. So first thing I wanna address is you have to have, and I can't really say this enough, guys, you gotta have enough emails, right? So we're gonna talk about that a little bit more in depth, but I was wanna kinda jot a couple things down. So that's really important. You have to have enough emails. Number two is you have to send emails often. You guys have to excuse my writing. It's horrible on this little pad. And then the third thing is you have to have the right solo ad vendor, right? That's going to help you build your list. So those are the three things that you need. So let's kind of take all of these things kind of step by step. So in regards to having enough emails, a lot of people will tell you, okay, you sort of lads and you know, get some leads onto your list. So you might go out there and you might get, let's say you run a solo ad of 100 clicks and say you have a great page and it's converting at 40%. So you may build a list of about, let's say 40 people. Now, as a newbie, most people think that, okay, I have 40 emails on my list. So I should be able to go ahead and mail these emails and then I should be able to just make thousands and thousands of dollars because that's what the Googles tell me, right? So they tell me about mail my list, I built it, I bought a solo ad, I should be able to make instant money. So the thing about this is, you know, if you're building your list and say you have these 40 emails on here, just because you have 40 emails on your list doesn't mean that when you send that email, that doesn't mean that all 40 people are going to open the email and it surely doesn't mean that all 40 are going to click on the link that you're trying to send them to in terms of like what you're trying to sell. So say out of this 40 emails, you may get, let's just say, let's just say, um, you know, 15 opens, right? I'm just kind of making up numbers here, but let's just say 15 opens. And out of those 15 opens, say you get three clicks. So essentially all you have is three opportunities to actually get somebody to click on a link to potentially, you know, make a sale for you. Now, for instance, let's say if, you know, you stuck with it and you built your list to say, let's say a um, thousand people, right? So now you have a thousand people on your list and then you mail them and say out of those thousand people, you get, let's say 200 opens. And out of that 200 opens, let's say you got 40 clicks, right? So this, as you can see here, is just purely a numbers game. So in the first example, you can really see that, okay, I only got three clicks here. What's the likelihood of me actually making some money in this first example, right? It's probably slim to none. I mean, I mean, we think about it like most pages are converting at 1% or 2%. So this is really a numbers game. So the likelihood of you making a sale in this scenario, right? 
versus making a sale in this scenario is is much higher right because at least in this scenario you have 40 people clicking the link you're going to have a lot more chances a lot more opportunity actually 37 more opportunities to actually make a sale right and so that's what you really need to understand when it comes to email marketing this is a numbers game and the more people you have on your list you have to have enough emails the more people you can send to the more opens you'll get the more clicks you'll get the more money you'll make and again i'm going to go through an example of this in a second of something that like literally happened to me when i was building my list with solo ads right so you have to have enough emails and so one of the questions that you may be asking yourself well well john how much emails will it take for me to start making consistent money or how much emails will it take me to start making a hundred dollars a day well that's going to be different for everybody and i wish i was a psych and i can just give you that specific list number that is definitely going to make you that money it depends on the offer sometimes it even depends on how much value that you may be giving your list you know some people are just mailing their list some people are actually creating some content which helps so it depends on a lot of different factors but if i was to give you like an arbitrary list number that you want to shoot for is this so if you're first starting out i think your first milestone you want to try to get to one one k emails and then when you'll really start to see consistent income with your affiliate marketing business if you're mailing them often and you're sending good offers i think if you have somewhere between 3k and definitely if you get to that 10k range in terms of your list size you can definitely make money every single day and be consistent with it. So this is a good range to shoot for. So I would say anywhere between 3,000 and 10,000 leads, depending on your relationship, depending on the offers that you're promoting, this would be something that you want to shoot for in this range. Now, you can definitely see some sales in this 1K range. Don't get me wrong. You can see sales prior to having 1,000 people on your list. But if you want to see consistent, consistent sales, you definitely want to get into these thousand emails just because of what we just talked about here the more emails you have on your list the more opens you'll get the more clicks you'll get so if you only have 20 or 30 people on your list you can't really expect a lot of sales guys yes you may get some sales but you're not going to get a ton of sales so you have to keep building your list the second thing you have to do is you have to send emails often What's the point in having a list? What's the point in, say, building a list of 10,000 people if you never email them? So you spent money or you spent time building up your list, you must send to them. So I do suggest sending good quality offers. I suggest you send like offers that are going to bring some sort of value that's going to help people that offers that you per buy into yourself that are that you find that are really quality right so i'm not saying you have to send and blast your your list out and send to them 10 times a day i'm not saying that but I, you do have to send to them often and if you have a good offer it's really your duty uh to go ahead and get that message out because these people are on your list for a reason they opted in for a reason they they raised their hand to say hey i want to know information about whatever you're trying to sell so why not provide them products and services that are going to continue helping them down that path so um again a good thing is knowing what to send and sending good quality offers i actually go through this in one of my free courses called the super affiliate hack I'll leave a, an actual link to the Super Affiliate Hack in the description of this video. And you guys can go through that course if you haven't seen it already before. But I kind of go through some of the tactical things that you can look for in terms of a high converting offer. And you can find that in the Super Affiliate Hack. The last thing you want to do when you're trying to make solo ad marketing work is you have to be picking the right vendors. The people that are going to actually help you build your list and there's a lot of you know scrupulous shady solo ad vendors that are out there that are sending very low quality clicks and could care less if you make money or build your list or anything they just want to send you clicks and they want to take your money so a couple of things that you want to actually look out for and i actually just did a video about this last week and i'll i'll link that video in the description as well but 
there's a couple things that you want to look for when trying to find a solo ad vendor. So you want to look for somebody that's going to give you top tier traffic. So these are just traffics uh, coming from top tier countries, especially within our affiliate marketing, uh, make money online space. These are going to be like the UK, US, uh, New Zealand, Australia, these top tier countries that speak English and statistically have money to spend. You want a solo ad vendor that's going to do list segmentation. So list segments. And this just basically means that, you know, if you're providing an offer that is MLM related, so they're going to send your offer to people that are interested into MLM versus somebody that may just be interested in to just regular old make money online, or maybe it's somebody that's interested in social media marketing or SEO. There's ways to segment your list. Obviously, when you're building your list, you need to, you know, segment those lists in different lists that have categories of interest. So a lot of times, if you have a bad solo ad vendor, they'll just basically write up an email with some blind copy and then send it out to the list. And all they're looking for is just to get clicks and not really try to help you maximize those clicks so that the people are could be potentially interested in what you're actually selling. The other thing that you have to be concerned about is list burnout. You know, a lot of solo ad vendors will uh, basically burn out their list. And what I mean by that is they're sending to their list a number of times every day. So they may be sending 10, 12 times a day to their list just to get those clicks. And again, they're just doing those blind copies. That really burns out the list. You're going to get, you know, low responsive leads that are coming on to the offers. So it's best that you find somebody that's not going to burn out their list. Uh, you definitely want to stay away from a uh, bot traffic so there's some you know shady show solo ad vendors that will actually not even send you real human beings they'll send you bot traffic and it'll appear and emulate that it's a human being but it's just a bot click and you're not really getting uh, any real human beings actually looking at your actual business. And then last but surely not least you want to be able to get like really good transparent traffic tracking. So you want to be able to, you know, track the clicks, track the geographical location where the clicks came from. A good solo ad preventer will even provide you with a pixel. You know, like these are all different things that is super transparent for the solo ad vendor that, you know, everything's above board and you're getting the highest quality traffic you can possibly get. So when you're doing this, guys, this is how you can actually start building a successful affiliate marketing business around solo ads. And again, it's about amassing enough emails. It's about sending emails often, quality offers, and then picking the right vendor. So if you guys are interested in a great solo ad vendor, I would actually raise my hand if you guys haven't heard or seen in the last couple of videos, I've actually become a solo ad vendor and I've been sending solo ads for a number of you guys so far. A lot of you guys have been getting some great results. And so you guys can check out the link in the description of my solo ads. Um, I will send you some really high quality buyer traffic all the things that we talked about today in terms of the right vendor, these are things that I do for you. You can check it out on my page. So right now, um, I wanna just go through what I actually did when I first actually started making money with solo ads. I'm gonna show you guys a quick example of that. So let me just scroll down here. And then I wanna show you guys exactly what I did. So you know, I had a mentor basically, and he told me that I needed to actually start utilizing solo ads to build my business, build my list and start making money. So basically said, he said, you know, Jonathan, what we're going to do is you're going to start off with some traffic and this traffic is going to be solo ads. And then what we did was we built a squeeze page, of course, put SP for squeeze page. And then I started building my list. So of course I was you know, sending out some emails here that had some follow-up emails that I had already laid out. And I started building my list. And then once they came through the uh, squeeze page, they would go to an offer. So it was probably something I was trying to sell. So this was the sales page. And what was happening was, you know, I started out with basically a list of zero. And then I started buying solo ads. So I probably spent, I don't know, a few hundred dollars uh, buying solo ads and then I got to a point where you know I had been buying solo ads throughout the month 
and I had made zero dollars, right? So I had built my list. I want to say maybe I had a list of, it was less than a thousand people. So let's just say somewhere by the time at the end of the month, I probably had a list of somewhere between, I want to say maybe 500 to 800 emails, maybe somewhere around in there. And I was a little frustrated because I had probably spent three, four, five hundred dollars building this list here. And, you know, my mentor was telling me that, you know, as long as you build your list, <laughs> you should make money. And I was saying, like, you know, so ads doesn't work. This isn't working. I'm getting these leads. They're not responding. They're not buying anything. And I was actually wrong. So let me tell you exactly what happened. So after about a month of me kind of building my list, I got to somewhere around this mark here where I was, you know, had about five, eight hundred people on my, my email list, definitely under a thousand people. And so there was a launch that was coming out. And I've actually told this story before. So, you know, it was a while ago. So if you've heard the story, I forgive me. But there was a ClickBank launch that, were, that was coming out. So I'll never forget it. So it was a ClickBank product, right? And I knew that it was going to be a high converting product. At the time, the vendor was a very popular vendor on ClickBank. And the sales page, you know, looked really good. And it was very influential it showed a lot of proof in terms of the income that was generated uh with the method that was used in the product as an info product so you know after a month of you know building my list not making a single cent i started sending emails to this actual clickbank product and that's when i actually started making money so i started sending emails i was basically promoting this clickbank product and the first day i had made a little over twelve hundred dollars in affiliate commissions right so all the money that i had initially spent 30 days before building my list you know these emails here you know for a month i didn't make anything but then after promoting this one product, I had made over $1,200. That was day one. And then on day two, I actually made another $800 in affiliate commissions. It was a really good product. It um, converted very well. But I would have never made this money had I not built this list you know, initially and had I not continued to mail my list, right? So it's one of those things that when you're doing solo ads, you may not see like this immediate response or this immediate reward of just a ton of affiliate commissions in your business. It's one of those things where you have to be a little bit patient and you have to realize that, okay, I'm going to build my list to, you know, 3,000 subscribers, 5,000 subscribers, and I'm going to mail them good offers. I'm going to try to send out some content if that's something that you want to do, but you have to stick with it because what I'm telling you guys is you can actually make a lot of money with just doing this scenario if you stick with it. You think about it, the majority of the people watching this uh, video right now you bought from people that have sent you an email. That's what a lot of affiliate marketing and marketing is. You're on a whole bunch of people's list. They send you an email at some point and you buy, right? And not say you buy every time you get an email, but I know you bought products. I purchased products. So again, the more people that you have on your list, the better relationship that you have with your list in terms of like sending value, doing content. So like content that I'm doing like right now, I'm making content to try to get you guys to see that this can work, right? So hopefully that you will, you know, go out and, you know, make this work or give it a shot. And hopefully you guys have some success with it. So that's just like creating content before you and like continue to mail your list you can definitely make some money. So it's all about a numbers game. You have to really look at this as a strategic way of doing business. And you got to think to yourself aggressively, how many leads can I put on my email list? What offers can I send them? You know, you should be able to send an offer every day. There's tons of great offers out there. Again, I'll leave that super affiliate hack course in my uh, description of this video. And you guys can go through that course and it'll show you how to find good offers. But it's just those three steps is having enough emails, sending the right emails, sending high converting products, and then having good solo ad vendors in the first place. Because you have a bad solo ad vendor, none of this is going to work. This is all going to be like 
X'd out because if they're sending you bad traffic, if they're not doing list segmentation, if they're not giving you really good, the best opportunity to make money with your offers, you're not going to get anywhere. And to give you another example, guys, like, you know, as I've started to do solo ads, you know, I actually look at the offer. So a lot of people that sell solo ads, they don't even look at the offer. So I actually like look at the offer. So you send me your offer over, right? So I'm going to look at your offer. I'm going to try to segment the best list for your actual offer. The other thing I do is I check your offer against how it looks on mobile and on desktop. These are things that like no one is doing, right? So if your offer looks really good on mobile, I may send you more mobile traffic. But if you have one of those squeeze pages that you know really only looks good on desktop, I only send you desktop traffic. And this is something that I do in the background that you don't even know about, and it doesn't cost you any more money, but your conversions are going to go through the roof. The amount of people, the amount of leads you're going to get are going to be better because I'm optimizing for you all the time in the background. So I'm optimizing for the best list. I'm optimizing on you know how your page is going to convert because I want you to get the most leads possible, A, because I want you to be successful, of course, but then I know that if I give you the best experience, then you will come back and buy more traffic from me. So again, guys, I'll leave that link in the description for you guys in terms of my solo ad packages. I'll also leave the link to the Super Affiliate Hack that's gonna help you find out how to find high converting products as well as doing some email marketing as well. It kind of goes more in depth of what we're kind of talking about today. So I hope this gave you guys some value. I hope you that it made sense to you. So again, guys, to wrap it up, you know, these are the three things that you need. You need, you know, enough emails. You need to send emails often, and then you got to have the right vendor. So if you have these three components, that's going to put you, you know, miles and miles ahead of, you know, most other people. And then you can start building your list. You can start making some money and scale from there. So hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you guys in the next video. If you have any questions, make sure you leave it in the comment section. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like button and I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace.